Well, Buen Camino there, pilgrims. I am Jeremiah Gibbs. I'm your Camino guide. And today I'm actually just making this video from uh, the airport here in Madrid. You'll probably recognize this if you've ever been to uh, on Camino and you flew through Madrid. You might recognize this as the T4S uh, satellite terminal where so many of the international flights come out of. And I know uh, you may not even be able to hear this very well with me wearing a mask and, and uh, over the other sounds of the airport, but um, I really just wanted to uh, kind of give some thoughts here and, and maybe I'll add to it when I get home, but um, you know, I think oftentimes people ask me, what's the hardest part of Camino de Santiago? What's the part that really makes it the most challenging? And certainly I think you might answer to that by saying something like, the mountains and the, the physical challenge, the, the, the mental challenge of walking with blisters and things like that. And I don't know that I could dispute that, you know, um, during this Camino, I only walked about 300 kilometers, but we were going some long distances. I walked a 45 kilometer day. Um, I bought my shoes just a little bit too small. So I probably am going to lose four or five toenails, uh, on this pilgrimage. I've only lost one ever. I'm probably going to lose several from this trip. I had, you know, literally dozens of blisters, um, which is not unusual for me, but you know, I mean, I, I, I know what it's like to experience the physical challenge, to experience the pain. Um, and I think plenty of people will say that those things are, are the hardest. I, I've even sometimes talked about really starting as the hardest, because I know for many of you, you're anxious about the things that are gonna happen around you, the different conditions that are happening on the trail, um, you know, and you just get, you get anxious about those things. Um, but I really wanna today say that I think for me, and this is true of every Camino I've been on, um, for me, for sure, the hardest part of Camino is going home. Um, I remember back to my very first Camino and I remember um, sitting on an airplane with 15 of my students. Well, this is really my second Camino. It was the first one was, was with my wife and it was very short, but my second Camino, um, my first one was students. I remember being on the airplane and just crying for, for hours, quite literally hours on the way home, thinking about um, the relationships that are formed and the ones that will never be the same again because we'll never be on the way in that, in that way again. Um, and, you know, I, I really have felt the same way about this pilgrimage. I think about the, the great friends that uh, I've been able to make, the connections that I've been able to make, um, people that I really, uh, I hope that I'll get to stay in touch with for a long time, but the reality is, um, you know, maybe it won't happen with most of them even. And maybe one or two that you that you really connect with, that you stay in touch with longer. But for so many of us, we're not going to be able to maintain these Camino friendships over the long term. And that, I think, for me is the hardest part. Is coming home, coming off the trail and losing that pattern of, of just waking up and, and eating a bite and, and getting on to the walking. Um, coming, returning from that to the, the, the grind of everyday life, the, the realities of our, of our work and our, um, our just personal responsibilities. Um, but then to, to walk away from these relationships that have meant so much to us while we're on the trail and to now um, uh, return to, to our normal life. And, and, and maybe for many of those people never see them again. Um, and, and maybe for a few of them only see them rarely. So for me, definitely the hardest part has been uh, lots of sadness as I've gotten off the trail. Uh, I was actually said goodbye to my friends, my Camino friends, um, a couple days ago um, and, uh, and now getting ready to, uh, to board a plane in just a few minutes. And, uh, and for sure I can say that, that this is the hardest part of a pretty challenging Camino. So. Um, know that you can make it when it comes to the physical parts know that you can do that that you can take on the challenges of languages and scheduling and logistics and all of that but know that when you come off the trail that there's some grieving that comes um, only wishing that you could be back uh, on the way so with that uh, pilgrims i hope that you will uh, come back off into this channel um, and i hope that you have a buen camino